What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. In this video, we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to create two-dimensional architectural drawings and then quickly convert them to 3D. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Dieback. Plugin developer, Iskernet. How much does it cost? It's $81 and it comes with a 16-hour free trial. Where do you get it? You can purchase the extension from www.dieback.com. Please note, you can use the code JUSTIN5% to get a 5% discount. I do want to note with full disclosure that I am an affiliate for this extension, so if you do purchase it, I will receive a commission. Tool Functions This extension contains a suite of tools designed to help you draw architectural models and to quickly be able to move them from 2D to 3D. You can quickly generate walls, doors, windows, stairs, and other items in 2D. You set the widths and heights of your walls as you model them, as well as the sizes of your doors and your windows as you add them. You can also import furniture and other components from the 3D warehouse to place them into your model. The nice thing about this is you can basically take any component from the 3D warehouse and Dieback will automatically convert it to 2D for use with your 2D plan. Then. Once you've set your model up the way you'd like to, you can click the Convert to 3D button to extrude your building to 3D. Plus, if you ever want to take your building to layout or something like that, you can click the Convert to 3D button again to take it back to two dimensions. The nice thing about the way this extension works is how quickly you can create all these different plans. So I found it to be fairly easy to come in here and add things like walls, doors, and windows. Um, it's a little clunky getting the components into Dieback because you do have to save them to your computer and then import them that way. But overall, it seemed to work better than I really expected. I thought it was pretty cool the way that worked. I'd recommend going and getting the 16 hour free trial and giving it a try, seeing if it's something that you think is going to work inside your workflow. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this extension. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider visiting my support me page at thesketchupessentials.com slash support to support the show. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.